Former national champion. Yeah, how'd you know? I follow cycling. That's okay. my job. Wow, that's very flattering. <laughs> um, yeah, no, you, you are from Colorado. You just asked me because I have a Colorado shirt. I used to live there. This, this isn't about me. This is about you. How's your season been going? Uh, it's been going well. Doing a lot of racing in Europe. This is actually the uh, first race I've done in the United States. Spent most of our t- or The team has spent a lot of time in Spain and uh, France. and uh, I just got back from the tour of Turkey, so... Just racking up those air miles. And how did Turkey go for you? We are Evan. Who else was out there with you? Uh, Huffman was there. Local legend, Evan Huffman. Um, Kyle Murphy did a top 10 ride. Rob Britton was uh, not far behind. That's in the overall. Uh, I made the break a couple days. Um, worked on our tan. Got to try some really interesting food. All in all, it's a productive trip. Uh, how does this look for you today? Have you previewed this ride at all, uh, today's route? Um, we did this stage in 2016, uh, so whatever overlap there is from that, I've done. Um, generally, though, I'm under the impression it goes uphill, so, uh... Were you here last year? I was not, no. So you missed it last year. I did. How about for the rest of the tour? What's, I mean, Evan said in the press conference that you guys are just kind of freewheeling, you don't really have overall ambitions, but looking at your roster... I don't know if I beg to differ, but you know, we've got McNulty, Britton. What do you think? Yeah, those are two very strong riders. We also have uh, Gavin Mannion and Kyle Murphy, who um, can can punch above their weight in races like this. Uh, <clears throat> I think we're we're kind of taking it day by day to see what comes, and uh, for for certain guys like McNulty and and Rob, um, thinking of the overall. Uh, but you gotta take your opportunities where you can in races like this, especially because it, it is a big it is a big race for for Rally UHC, and um, we do want to showcase ourselves. So we gotta we gotta put ourselves out there. And what about you personally? Any personal goals for this week? Uh, I'd love to make a break. Um, mostly though, I, I I'm here to support the other guys and and just make sure they can pass these stages as fresh as possible because Baldy is Baldy's gonna be the the really decisive stage and. <clears throat> to sort of uh, lead into that with these four these four pretty tough long days, uh, you're, you know guys need to be guys need to be fresh, and so that's my job to keep them as fresh as possible. What are your goals for the rest of the season after California? Another defense of your national championships? <laughs> well, um, yeah, I mean to win a national title would be great. Nationals is a bit of a, um, a roll of the dice, so. Uh, I wouldn't say that's necessarily a, a, a big bullseye for me, but uh, I, I think my goals align with the team's goals in general, and that is we're trying to become a more European-based team and uh, become better racers across the pond because it is, it is very different. I mean, I think when, when we say that to people and uh, they kind of look at us weird as if, you know, oh, it's a bike race, as if they're all sort of, the same but it's really apples and oranges and and so the learning curve over there is something i'm i'm trying to uh figure out just like this in this entire program so i know we're getting close here but um so europe is a little different than the u.s but then you have the tour of california which kind of melds those two how does that as far as working in the field positioning compared to europe and compared to just racing in the u.s uh california definitely has a u.s flair just Based on, you know, something as simple as like the size of the roads. You know, I think, um, you know, in, in Europe you sort of have all these little bottlenecks that you have to plan around and, and execute uh, tactics for. And in the United States, it's a bit more straightforward. But the the common thing between the two is that they're both hard. They're both physically hard. Um, this is not an easy race by any stretch of the imagination. And having European teams here definitely you notice that it's it's a, it's another it's another level all right um predictions for today uh this isn't a biased opinion at all but i think evan huffman's gonna win so last year he got in the break on this race uh this this actual stage goes right through his hometown i mean his uh, Eldorado hills out there where he used to live so uh, i think that's a good bet yeah i mean 
it'd be great if he could. It's funny, everyone. He's such like a local legend. I we had no idea. He's so soft spoken, and we we did a ride, and uh, you know, it, we did a ride back from the stage yesterday, and and these people kind of tacked onto our group, and they were saying, "Oh, Evan Huffman, when he does the group rides, you know, it's gonna be a serious group ride," and you know, people are always cheering his name. So, uh, yeah, in, in in common Evan Huffman fashion, uh, he doesn't lead on as to how much of a hero he is out here, but. Yeah, I'm rooting for him today. Well, you're from Boulder, is that correct? Uh, I around Boulder, yeah. So you know, group rides there can be pretty significant. But we get like you know, Nilsson Palace and Cole Davis, and then Evan Huffman. So it's a big deal. Yeah, I know he's he's uh, the king of Sacramento. All right, we'll let you roll out, and good luck today. Yeah, thank you very much.